Hey folks, Daily Lands Blog here, and this is, uh, this, is, this is a tough one. A couple of days ago, we were in Waterloo. Uh, when I say we, uh, Diana and Kim and Casey and I were there, along with Clint Malarchuk, to, to talk to first responders. Uh, the Waterloo Police Service uh, and, the, and the chief out there put on this great event. They invited fire and ambulance as well, and uh, I thought it was significant. Significant for some in the audience and for sure significant for me. Uh, and I think that first responders is an area that we all have a responsibility for. Not, not just sick, not weak, not just me talking mental health, but all of us to look after those that try to look after us. And I got this, uh, this uh, Facebook response um, to, I guess, the one that we shot in front of the, uh, the ambulance. And it's from a woman named Candace Bailey Huntley. Unfortunately, I just lost my husband, a firefighter, on March 19th to this sickness. Could not convince him to get help. Devastating. And I went to their Facebook page and you can see there, there are two kids there and like is always the case on a Facebook page, everyone is smiling and happy and um, there's, there's lessons that I learn all over the place and there's a, a lesson that jumps out at me which is that no matter how uh, responsive uh, your spouse can be, no matter how much they beg you to get help, sometimes you don't get help because you believe the stigma. And that's why I talk all the time about the stigma being most damaging, most crucial that we fix it when it comes to the individual who's sick, a firefighter who says, I can't get help because I can't show weakness to the people around me, is doing himself the ultimate disservice and to the people around him as well, not expecting that they will be able to step up and help him. So I, I, I beg you, if you are, um, if you love somebody who's struggling, that you reach out to us and let us try to reach out to them if in fact they don't want to get help. It's just, it's just hard to believe that in 2017, 2017, we are still in a position where people will take their lives, leave people that love and that they love them and leave them because um, help just seems too far away. And on a lighter note, I mean, what isn't a lighter note than that? Uh, yesterday, I did our uh, lands blog from outside, right? Was that yesterday, Case? Mm -hmm. That was yesterday, and there's me and Brando, and we got this, this great message, um, which uh, I have to respond to. Uh, I try to follow you every day, but today's blog was a little disappointing. Not the advice itself, but the remark about the stinking bird, because yesterday... I, uh, I heard a bird outside, and I was just kidding around. I mean, let's face it. I just turned around and went, shut up, stinking bird. So, I... Do you hear that, Case? Do you hear that? Yeah. Bird in the house? Oh, my gosh. I do hear that. You know what I got to say to the bird? You know what I got to say to the bird? It is music to my ears. I can feel myself relaxing on a bad day. I listen to those birds and I think, thank you, birds. Thank you for making me feel better. Is that better? Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. We're here because, uh, because we need to be and because uh, we want to be.